Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear respected brothers, sisters and young friends in Islam Many of you have probably seen the video where Sean King has accepted Islam at the hands of Sheikh Dr. Umar Suleiman and many of you have probably seen the controversy following after that where he announced that he was going on tour with Dr. Khalid Badiun in order to raise awareness for the Palestinian cause and in order to raise awareness about the genocide that is currently happening in Gaza Many of you are bringing up his past and asking, is he a Muslim? Is he a scammer? Is he a swindler? Is he a grifter? What exactly is he? Number one, when somebody accepts Islam, all of their past sins are forgiven and you accept their Islam from them, especially if they do it publicly. Number two, should we attend an event like this? No, we should not attend an event like this. Why? Because most Palestinian activists, lawyers, and those that are on the front line are telling us not to attend it. And those are the people that are most aware of the situation. Also, we don't know where the money is going to be going. Number three, should we actually be focusing on this controversy? Should we be giving him attention? Absolutely not, because that divides our attention as Muslims and that divides our attention as humanity uh, from what's actually going on in Gaza and from the actual plight of the Palestinian people. So instead of focusing on him, let's focus on the actual cause. Let's focus on what's going on in Gaza. Let's leave this individual alone. Let him negotiate his Islam. Let him work on his Islam and make sure that we don't go to an event like this because the experts told us not to. And so this is my take as a Muslim. We should make sure that we don't judge any other Muslims. We make sure that we don't judge any other people, especially those that are new to Islam. We don't know what's in his heart. However, we know what our course of action is, and that is not to go to an event like this, and that is to focus on what is actually happening to the Palestinian people and continue to raise awareness, just like the way that the experts have instructed us to do. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.